Ice Massage, a form of cryotherapy. This video is intended to show how to create an ice massage cup. I took a little Dixie cup, filled it with water, and you want to tear the edge off so that you can have a nice sharp edge. And I want to have you watch the Mickey Mouse watch right here and see how long it takes for me to get numb. So when you apply ice massage, you want to stay in an area that's not too big, because the whole arm would be too big, and you don't want to repeat too much in any one area. If I ended up repeating in any one area, I would end up causing a um, too much uh, numbing in one area, like a frostbite. As you can see, it can get pretty messy with the um, water dripping onto the table right there, so you might want to put a towel underneath the person. Now, I am, have gone through cold, and at this point I feel a definite burning, especially in this red spot right there. Um, I'm just going to keep going in my circle motions. You can see the skin is turning a little bit red, especially on the place where I feel the burning. After a person feels cold, cold they usually report burning, and then there will come an aching point, and I haven't quite hit there. Now this particular modality usually takes about three minutes. Um, it, it really depends on the skin sensitivity of the patient. We've noticed that if a person's hot in the beginning, it takes a longer while. If it's, uh, if it's a hot room, the room is a little bit warmer than the normal 72 degrees of a room temp, then it takes a longer while. And right now I feel an aching pain and it's kind of going into the tendon area there. Okay, And so my numbness quotient seems to be pretty close to only about two minutes. Hasn't really even taken a full um, three minutes it usually takes. Never do ice massage longer than 10 minutes. You can cause a frostbite and that would be very bad. And so I'm going to say I'm numb. Let me see. Okay. Yeah, can't feel that whatsoever. Now what I wanted you to see is afterwards you can see a change will happen to the skin. And if you can see right here this red line, that is called the wheel formation. So frequently, you can see there's the red line right there. So in the end, after cool, warming up a little bit, you will see that I will have a red demarcation between the two areas and then a whiter area in the middle. And this is a classic wheel formation right there. And this will stay like this probably for just a few minutes. And you can see the red line right there showing up perfectly. This is called the wheel, W-H-E-A-L formation. And you saw how fast that took, just two, uh, two or three minutes for me to get numb. And this um, is something that you can get your patients to do. Um, the big thing is though, a lot of times people will do the circling and they'll end up circling too small and they'll cause a frostbite. So if you ever have a very bright white in the middle, then you have to apologize to your patient because you could have possibly just caused them frostbite. So there you go, there's the wheel formation. Now you can see uh, the color changing. Now don't forget, when you first put ice on the skin and it turns red, you're going to be seeing that Lewis hunting response where you see the, the redness happening. So just after a little bit of ice right there, you can see it's getting a little red right away, okay? And now look, see the wheel is going away and the whole area is filling with blood. That's the hyperemia follow up after the uh, wheel formation. You can see now the edge is still there. You can see the clear red edge, but the circle white isn't gone from the middle. Okay.